Welcome to Calming Escapes Medical Clinic. How are you doing today? Not too good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What brings you in? Your breathing. Mm hmm. And how long have you been having these problems? A couple of days. Alright. Do you feel any tightness in your chest? A bit. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Okay. Does this usually happen when you get a cold? Mm hmm. Alright, so you just kind of have weak lungs then? Well, why don't we just start with some basics and we'll get you feeling a little bit better, alright? Good. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take your pulse. Okay. Here, just give me your hand. Okay. Now the other hand. Right. So your pulse is a little fast. That's probably because your body is having problems breathing. All right. Okay. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take your temperature too, all right? Have you been monitoring your uh, temperature? You have. Have you gotten a fever at all through this? No, okay, that's good. All right, we're just gonna put it in this ear right here. All right. All right, you're a little high, but nothing to be worried about. This year, all right, yeah, you're about the same on that side, too. Nothing really to worry about, okay? All right, just note your temperature. All right, now I just kind of want to note your breathing. So if you could um, just take some nice deep breaths for me, just in and out, All right? Yes, just continue breathing in and out, nice deep breaths while I watch your chest rise and fall. And does it hurt to take those deep breaths? There's a tightness. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your lungs and your chest, all right? See if we can hear some of that and determine what's going on with you, all right? Okay, so right now I just want you to continue with those deep breaths. And I'm going to move this around over your chest, and I just want you to keep breathing in and out, all right? That's good. All right. Nice deep breath. You're doing okay. Okay. There is a bit. I do hear that tightness and that wheezing. 
in your chest. Okay, now if you could just take another deep breath, but I want you to slowly ease it out, okay? So just... Just like that, alright? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to move this around again. And one more deep one for me. Alright. Now, have you had a cough at all through this? You have? Alright, does it hurt in your chest when you cough? It does. Alright. So, I just want you to do a little bit of a cough, not where it's going to hurt you, alright? Just almost kind of clear your throat a little bit so I can hear a little bit of the echo in your chest. Go ahead. You alright? Alright. Hmm. Let's see. do another listening exercise with the front of your chest just so I can get a better understanding of what's going on all right so I want you to um, just once again just breathe normal okay you don't have to do deep breaths this time just breathe normal but um every time that I put this on your chest if you could say 99 for me mm -hmm. every time I move it just say 99 all right So there is definitely some tightness, like I said earlier, and with your weak lungs, I definitely want to take care of that right away. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill your chest while um, you breathe to see if you're expanding to the right level, alright? So why don't we... Um, just do another, right, okay, do another nice deep breath for me. Okay. It is a little tight, yeah. Alright, now just breathe normal for me, and I'm just gonna feel your chest expand again. You doing all right? Good. All righty. And have your symptoms gotten any worse within the couple, the last couple days? A little. They have. All right. Could I have a look at your fingers? Yeah, just kind of stick them out like this. And what I'm doing is making sure your fingers aren't turning blue. I want to make sure that enough oxygen is getting to your whole body. Alright. Okay. Your fingers look okay, yeah. I'm still kind of worried about um, your chest being so tight. So, um, and your trouble breathing, obviously. So I think we're going to go ahead 
and um, do a medicine session. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put you on an oxygen feed, but also mixed in it is going to be a form of a steroid. <laughs> yes, it's not gonna make you buff out or anything like that. It's gonna help to um, strengthen your lungs a little bit and get them more open so that you're breathing better and that your body's getting enough oxygen, all right? Does that sound all right with you? Good. All right, so let's go ahead and get this set up for you. Now I'm just gonna put this mask right here over your mouth and your nose, okay? No need to be afraid or anything like that because the oxygen's gonna be coming out of this, all right? Okay. Now, is that comfortable on you? Let me adjust it. like that? Okay. Sounds good. Alright. Let's see. Let me go ahead. Are you alright? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start the oxygen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the medicine's already gonna be mixed in for you. You won't really notice a difference, okay? <laughs> Though there is one side effect, um, you might get a little bit shaky. Mm -hmm. But I really just want you to lay back and relax. Maybe even close your eyes through this and just breathe nice and normal, getting the um, steroid into your system so you can start feeling a little better. Alright? Good. Alright. Okay. So the oxygen is going to be flowing now, and it has the medicine mixed in. Just lay back and relax, alright? I'll be back in just a couple minutes to um, check over your vitals again and see if there's any change, alright? Good. I'll be right back. into your chest. Yep, you continue. You can continue to lie there and just relax for me. to um, your lungs from the back. 
chest is still feeling a little bit tight, but um, it's gonna do the trick for you, all right? So you'll feel a lot better and your lungs will be way more open, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and move along this for just a little bit longer, okay? Get more of that medicine into your system. chance on any type of inhaler? No? Alright. I think I might prescribe you one just to uh, kick this out of your system and then in case you ever do have any more breathing issues you can use that um, so you don't get worse or sick. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's fairly simple if you feel almost like an asthma attack coming on, or you feel yourself struggling to breathe, you're just going to use your inhaler two times. First time is going to start to open your lungs up, and then when you do the second, um, it's going to put the medicine into your lungs and help keep them open. Shut that down. Right. I'm going to go ahead and take this off your face. Right. Now let's have another listen. See if we made a difference. Nice deep breath for me. And another one, slowly let it out, good, and another one on this side, very good, now just breathe normal. I do hear quite a bit of a change um, in your breathing and there's not so much of a wheeze in your lungs anymore and the tightness has gone down. Do you feel like you can breathe better? You do. Good. That's what's important is if you start to feel better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prescribe you that inhaler. Okay. I'm also going to um, do an antibiotic so we can get this cold out of your system. You've had it for a little bit. And with your lungs, I don't want it to go any further and risk pneumonia or anything like that. So we're just going to get this out of your system. Sound good? All right. And then for the next couple of days, I do want you to take it easy. If you start to have breathing problems, use the inhaler. It will help you. And the antibiotic should make it so your chest wall isn't going to feel tight like it did the last couple of days. All right? your prescription. Mm -hmm. The pharmacy is just right out in the lobby, so you don't have to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And you let me know how you're feeling in a couple days, all right? Good. I hope you start to feel better.